Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see a very awesome thing. We're going to do instant segmentation and tracking with Ultralytics, Yolovi 8. So now we're both going to combine instant segmentation and object tracking. So we're basically combining that and then we have instance segmentation with tracking. So again, this is pretty cool. Instead of just traditional tracking, we're now going to do it with our mask from our segmentation models. So let's just jump straight into the documentation. We go inside the guides tab and then over here to the left, we can see all the different guides that we have on Autolytics. And we can also see these real world projects where we have coast neighbors for all of them. So definitely go in here in the Autolytics documentation and check them out. If we go inside the instant segmentation with object tracking, we can basically see some examples. So now we can see that we have our mask around our objects. We have our ID and we also have um, the specific label for our classes. So this is significantly cooler compared to traditional object detection. And you can use it directly out of the box with Ultralytics. So you can see that it is basically just for identifying objects and also outlining the individual objects around with the mask in the images. So this is very useful when we're going to track our objects throughout a number of frames. Let's say throughout a video sequence, we want to track individual objects and we want to assign an ID to each of the individual objects. Let's say we're doing a counting system, then we actually need to know the specific ID. We need to track that specific object throughout the frame. And that applies to a lot of computer vision applications and projects out there. So here we basically just see the differences between standard instant segmentation and instant segmentation with object tracking, where we assign an ID and we have a unique color. So we can track that specific object and mask throughout the whole video sequence, where if we're just doing instant segmentation, we're just predicting that this is a car and we have no information over time. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see this code example, how we can do instant segmentation with Ultralytics directly. You can just copy paste it, a few lines of code, you have it up and running, you can extract the results, use it in your own applications and projects. We also have a code snippet here for instant segmentation with object tracking, which is the cool thing that we're going to see how to run that. So I'm basically just going to copy paste this into a Python script. Let's run it and see some really cool results. But before we're going to jump into that Python script, we can also set some different arguments for our segmentation bounding box. So if you want to have specific mask colors, detection label, track labels, and so on. So now we're jumped into the Python script. I've copy pasted this code snippet from Autolytics. I've not done anything. So here we can basically just specify the video file that we want to process and run our instant segmentation with tracking on. We can also set the model here. If you want to use a nano, medium, or a small model, let's just go with a medium model. I'm running this on a GPU and it will do that automatically if you have installed PyTorch with GPU support. First of all here, it's just a couple of lines of code. It's going to do all the processing for it, creating the annotator, tracking, and also segmenting out the boxes and doing the act like tracking. We're also going to write out to a file here. So we're going to save the results and take a look at it afterwards. So let's open up a terminal. Let's run the program. So Python instance tracking.py. And right now we're running on this people walking. Let's just see before we run it through. So these are basically just the people walking around. So let's go in and do instant segmentation with tracking. So right now it's going to download the model and now we can see that we're running inference. So we get the mask around each of these individual objects that we are detecting. In this case, we're detecting people walking around. We assign it a unique ID, the track ID, and we also have the labels, which we can also extract directly. So we can also see that it has saved this video file with all the frames that we have just processed. So we can go back and see the results afterwards. So this can be used for a lot of different applications and projects. Let's just run it here again. Let's say that you want to create a counting system, could be in different regions, could be like a trap line that you go over. We have code for all of that in the Autolytics documentation as well. So definitely check that out. But this is very cool. We can see the unique color, the unique ID for each of these individual instances that we're segmenting out in the image and doing tracking on top of. So definitely for a comment under the video here, if you guys have any ideas of what this can be used for in real life applications and projects. I hope you have learned a ton and then I'll just see you next video guys. Until then, happy learning.